In this video, I want to prove one very useful integral. Uh, the formula is like this. I'll prove this and then we'll do some examples based on that formula. So the formula is like this. Integration of 1 over x squared minus a squared dx is equal to 1 over 2a times natural log of modulus of x minus a over x plus a plus c. This is a good formula to remember because if you know this formula, it is very helpful to do some polynomial integration of polynomials. So let's prove this. So <clears throat> this is what we want to prove. So let's say integration of 1 over x squared minus a squared dx can be written as this is integration of 1 over x minus a times x plus a dx using difference of two squares. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, simplify this. I'm, I'm going to write this uh, and then we are going to integrate later. So can I write 1 over x minus a times x plus a using partial fraction or decomposition of fraction can be written as a over a over x minus a plus b over x plus a. So this fraction 1 over x minus a times x plus a sorry x plus a can be decomposed can be written into two fractions a over x minus a plus b over x plus a. So comparing the left with right, I can say 1 is equal to a times a times x plus a time plus b times x minus a. Because this is going to uh, I'm multiplying this fraction by x plus a. I'm going to mu I'm multiplying this pr fraction by x minus a. So the denominators are going to be equal. So you can compare the numerator. So let's expand and simplify. I hope you can understand the next step. So this can be written as a plus b times x plus a minus b times x. You can pause this video and try to understand how I wrote this step. I've just expanded this and grouped the x's. And if you, this will open as ax plus bx. And if you factor out x, you'll have a plus b. And here you have a, 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 capital A, small a, plus b, minus b times a. And if you factor out a, you can write a minus b times a. Now comparing the left with right, you can see, well, a plus b has to be 0. If you, you have no element or no, expre no expression of x on the left hand side. So I can say, well, a plus b has to be 0. a plus b has to be 0. And if you compare, you can compare uh, a minus a, a minus b times small a is equal to 1 because this can be compared to 1. So from this I can write well a minus b a minus b should be 1 over a. This this should be 0. This should be 0. So let me make this 0. a plus b is 0 and a minus b is 1 over a. So this is a simultaneous equation. So I can say 2a is equal to 1 over a. So this means a is equal to 1 over 2a. 1 over 2a. And I know a plus b is 0. And if a is 1 over 2a, b has to be minus 1 over 2a. So now we'll do the working here. So now let me change color. So this changes. So I can say this is integral. This from from this step, of course. This step I can say. This can be written as this. 
So integration of this is same as integration of 1 over 2a over x minus a plus plus b so b is negative 1 over b so I can put a minus here 1 over 2a over x plus a dx okay so this is the integration and you can factor out you can factor out this 1 over you can factor out this 1 over 2a so this becomes 1 over 2a times integration of let me put a big bracket like this 1 over x minus a minus 1 over x plus a x plus a d x so this is 1 over 2 a and you can distribute this integration so integration of 1 over x minus a using inverse chain rule the, the integration of 1 is going sorry integration of x is going to be 1 so this is natural log of natural log of x minus a minus natural log of I have to put the big bracket here minus natural log of x plus a plus a plus the constant of integration so let me scroll this slightly to this side so this becomes so final answer is 1 over 2 a times using the log rules it will be x minus a over x plus a plus c now this is a very useful rule now let's do one example based on this okay so let's do a simple example suppose what will happen if you do so let me drag it up okay let me keep it like this okay so what is integration so let me use a different color what is integration of 1 over x squared plus 4x plus 2 dx so now this is a polynomial and if we can write in this form of 1 over x squared minus a squared we can use this formula so my aim is to write this expression in terms of x squared minus a squared so this becomes using completing the square method this becomes x squared plus 4x plus 4 to make it a complete square and then I'm taking away 2 to make it plus 2 plus 4 take away 2 is plus 2 dx so this becomes this is integration so this is integration of 1 over x plus 2 the whole squared minus 2 can be written as square root of 2 the whole squared dx so this is a formula so we know you can compare your a the a with root 2 and x with x plus 2 so using that formula I can say this is equal to 1 over 2 root 2 times natural log of x x minus a the x can be compared with x plus 2 so this is going to be x plus 2 minus root 2 divided by x plus 2 plus root 2 plus c so this is of course if you want to confirm your answer you can differentiate this this is the answer you can differentiate this and you will get back uh, 1 over x squared plus 4x plus 2 hopefully this video is helpful you can if you want to practice so let me write one example as practice so how would you integrate say 1 over x squared plus 4x uh, plus 5 or plus 1 dx 
how to integrate this so using the same so let me write one more example say let me write it here integration of 1 over x squared plus 2x minus 3 how to integrate this so both of course you have to write a dx here so for both days you can write this in this form and if you can write in this form you can use this formula